Okay, so in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up Fast API and PostgreSQL on Heroku. And I only have 15 minutes because I can't post videos longer than that. So I'll go fairly fast until I'm allowed to post longer videos. But basically, um, I have the requirements. I'll have that on my GitHub. I have a proc file that you can read about in the documentation in Heroku that I'll have on my GitHub. And then, but you gotta have both of these for it to work. And then I have my main.py. Um, so on the Heroku side, what you wanna do is create an app. In the app, click configure add-ons. There should be a button that says add an add-on. And then add on Heroku Postgres, install it, link it to your app, and then click on it. It should take you to this page where you can see the overview and then the settings and then credentials. Then you wanna go here. So I assume you have all the requirements installed which is on my GitHub. And then um, we're gonna copy this example and we're just gonna run with this example cause it's too long making our own. Cause again, I only have 15 minutes cause YouTube, but we're gonna post this, save that. Um, we're gonna, we can get rid of these. And then we're going to go to our settings of our database. We're going to select this, copy it, paste it into here, save. And it does not work because we got to actually get rid of this because we don't need it. And save that. And then we're going to start up the server the, for local development, UVCorn main app reload I should run here you can click on it don't worry about that error um, I'm gonna get rid of this. but if we do oh my god I can't click Go to our database and click overview and refresh. Um, actually, I have stuff in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset my database because so we're on the same page. Okay. Um. Okay, I, I think it's gonna take a while. But basically, basically, if you do slash docs, you can, you can post to the database using this model, the node in, which basically does a post request and then um, using the model, it maps or maps the value to the column you want and inserts it into the table notes or the table you want the, using the table schema using SQL Alchemy. And then you could try it out and then type in your own stuff. You could say, like, hello, YouTube. And then keep that as true. You can execute it, and then something doesn't work. Notes does not exist. What? Boom. I don't know what happened there, but I just 
refreshed it and saved. Um, and then it should give you a response. You can go to the get request, try that out, execute, and then it should give you another, or this is basically the list of all the rows in the database. See the response model, it's a list of this base model, which is specified here, which it wants the ID text and the completed Boolean. So you can, if you do more posts, you can do like, change it up, execute it, make a post, and then see it just shows up. And if you look here, it takes a while to like update and stuff, but eventually it should say like there's two rows and then th that's our notes table and then it, the number of our connections. So that's the gist of it. And let's, let's upload this to GitHub. So what I did was, wait, I think I already uploaded it to GitHub. Let me see. Yeah. Basically, um, if you don't know what to do, just go to GitHub, click add repository, and then like name it, and then follow the instructions. It'll, it'll show you how to, it'll tell you what to do to like add a remote origin to your local um, repo. And then once you do all that, you can do git add, git com commit, and call it like your first commit, and then git push, all right? And then you go to the your GitHub. That's still there, but whatever. Uh, you can actually go to, once it's in your GitHub, you could go to the your Heroku app and then go to deploy. Connect to GitHub. Type in your, the GitHub repo, or the GitHub repo you want to connect, which is Fast API Heroku tutorial. And then you can deploy branch. You can also specify um, the Python version you want by adding runtime dot text. Dot text, and then like typing in your like Python version you want but it automatically detects it if you don't and then you see um, it installs our requirements.txt file with pip and then make sure we have all our dependencies for the project and then it's since it's a small like app it finished pretty quick, but, and then after you're done, it deploys if there's no errors. You can click view, and there is an error. So if there's an error, you can actually go to more, and then click view logs and read what the error is. Okay, the error is we do not have unicorn, which is my fault. We need to do we need to install Unicorn. Let me check the time. Ooh, we're running close. Oh, but I already have Unicorn. That's crazy. Oh, I don't have Unicorn in the environment. Okay. Um, Let's go to the environment. 
Let's do, let me see. M scripts M and dumb. Let's activate. Okay, we're in the virtual environment. Let's pip install unicorn. All right. Um, pip list unicorn in. Okay, we have unicorn now, so we can do pip freeze requirements dot text, and it should make update our requirements dot text to include unicorn. Yes, it did. Okay, and then let's push that to our repo. Get uh, let's d or get add oops get add get commit oh my god whatever You can like make your git ignore to actually ignore the pydoc cache, but I'm I'm crunched on time right now to try to figure that out. So I'm just leaving it as is. But now that we have Unicorn, you could actually enable automatic deploys where if you like if the your GitHub repo like updates, it's like hooked in and it, it like catches that and automatically deploys the um, most current version but I I tend not to do that I like to deploy it myself and it failed Oh my god, I'm dumb. Um, it's because I added runtime.txt. Did not like specify any runtime. Moved runtime. Yeah, it's because I add added runtime.txt and did not specify um a version. So it was looking in the text. And where it was like, there's nothing there. <laughs> okay, it should work now. Third time's a charm. What's the time? 13 minutes. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Oh my god, 13 minutes. I can only upload 15 minute videos. So this last minute's gonna be really quick. Oh my god, it's gonna be really quick, quick. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna wait for it to deploy to Heroku. I'm just gonna open it. Okay, it's done. Um, I'm gonna open app. Come on. Oh no, I need to wait for it to deploy to Heroku. Okay, um, it's working. You can do flash notes and then you get everything. And you can also play with um, it's still here and I can make a another part where I link it to react and make like a full app but make sure to subscribe and like so I can actually make longer videos but yeah
hope that was helpful.